I was going to do an NFL power ranking video today, but you know what? It's a short week, and quite frankly, I don't feel like it. It's my least viewed video of the week, and I just, I'm tired. So the Detroit Lions remain number one. But that's not why you clicked on this video. You clicked on this video to see what the Detroit Lions playoff clinching scenarios are for week 13. Now, shout out to the person a couple weeks ago that said, gave me that first kind of clinching scenario. We made a video about it. It did very well. So you guys are excited about the, the Detroit Lions clinching, clinching the playoffs. And I don't know if this is a record or anything, but this is one of the earliest. We're talking about week 13. We've never been in this position before. We have never been. Last time we were this, so I take that back. We haven't been in this position in 90 years. I wasn't born. You weren't born. Maybe your mother, definitely, or maybe your grandparents, definitely the greats. We're talking about 1934 was the last time the Detroit Lions were 10 and 1. This team is doing something that not even the Barry Sanders teams could do. Calvin Johnson. This is insane what this team is doing. But without further ado, man, let's get to the week 13 playoff clinching scenarios. This is how the Detroit Lions could punch their way to the playoffs heading in or after week 13. Number one, this says Detroit clinches a playoff berth with a Detroit win plus a San Francisco loss or tie plus an Arizona loss or a tie plus a Seattle loss and Tampa Bay loss or tie. So we will clinch a playoff scenario just with a we need San Fran to lose, Arizona to lose, Seattle to lose and Tampa Bay to lose. If those four teams lose, we go to the playoffs. So the person in the comment section said that we would win if we won the next three and San Francisco lost one. Well, turns out neither one of us were right. We could clinch it earlier than that. Scenario number two, and I'm sure you guys are reading this. Detroit, a Detroit win. Basically, we have to win. San Francisco has to lose. Arizona has to lose. Seattle has to lose. In, in the first two scenarios and Tampa. Okay, so the second one is a Seattle tie. So that's where it changes. Instead of Seattle losing, the second scenario would be a Seattle tie. The third scenario is the exact same th thing through the first four, uh, except you bring in a tie, Seattle loss, a Washington loss or tie, and an Atlanta loss. So scenario number four, Detroit win, San Francisco loss or tie, Arizona loss or tie, Seattle loss, and a Washington loss and an Atlanta tie. Scenario number five, Detroit win, San Francisco loss or tie, Arizona loss, Seattle tie, <laughs> Washington loss or tie, Atlanta loss, and finally says Detroit win plus a San Francisco loss or tie, Arizona loss, Seattle tie, Washington loss, plus Atlanta tie. But look at the bottom. Note. There are additional scenarios in which Detroit can clinch a playoff spot with a tie and other outcomes that involve the Lions clinching the strength schedule of victory tiebreaker. I say, oh, oh my God, that is a lot. But basically, I think the easiest one is we would need a San Francisco. We need to win and our game will be over, right? We need to win. Arizona needs to lose. San Francisco needs to lose. Seattle needs to lose. Tampa Bay needs to lose. Okay, so let's find out who plays who, shall we? NFL, we're going to go to standings or schedule, and we'll see who plays who. And that way, we'll know exactly what's up. This is going to be good. Man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I mean, we're, we're usually talking about the draft in week four. Now we're talking about playoff clinching scenarios in week 13. This is insane. Absolutely insane. All right, we, we need to go to teams or stats. Okay, games. There we go. Go to games, go to schedule, and let's bring this in. Okay, so first thing we need is a San Francisco loss. So who does San Francisco play? Nope, we still haven't, we, we still haven't moved on to week 13 because the new week starts. Wednesday. All right. So San Francisco, they play the, let me move this over here, move this over here. So that way I can glance and we can do it at the same time. All right. We need a San Francisco loss. San Francisco plays the Buffalo Bills. That is an L. We need a Arizona loss. The Arizona Cardinals play the Minnesota Vikings. So wait a minute. 
the Vikings, oh, man, we want that first seed, though. We want that first seed. But just for the sake of this, that's doable. That's doable. So either way it goes, it really does help us. But we want that first seed. So Buffalo Bills are going to beat the San Francisco 49ers. This one could go either way. I'm actually picking the Cardinals. But then we have a Seattle loss, and Seattle is playing who? I guess I'm supposed to go now. Seattle is playing. Wait a minute. Are they off? Did I pass it? Seattle's playing who? Oh, the Jets. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Okay. That, yeah. All right. And last, we need the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to lose to the Carolina Panthers. So, I mean, realistically, San Francisco is the only, I guess, you know what? If things aren't going to go exactly like this, then we might as well have the Minnesota Vikings lose. We might as well have the Cardinals win because Carolina played Kansas City very tough, but I don't know if they're going to be able to pull that off. And then the the Jets and Seattle, the Jets are in disarray. They're, they're uh, yeah. So, well. I mean, listen, anything is possible. It could happen for sure. Uh, you know, I'm not counting it out, but our game will be out the way and we will be doing some some games in my area. So we'll watch out. We'll watch it and find out. But I wanted to let you guys know if you didn't see the community post, we're going to be live streaming the one o'clock game. We're going to do a watch party uh, from now on in the month of December. Games that affect the Detroit Lions and their seeding, we are going to stream those games if the Detroit Lions are off. So, for instance, if they get flexed or if a game if a game that affects the Detroit Lions is flexed. So, let's say the Lions play on Sunday, but the Eagles play on Saturday or something like that. We'll do that game. We'll do a live stream watch party throughout the month of December and January leading into the playoffs. So, wanted to let y'all know about that. Also, I wanted to show you guys something. Now, it's going to be kind of weird. I'm going to get super dark, all right? As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this light, and I want to show you I received the infinity light from Green Gridiron today or yesterday. Check it out. That is pretty cool, man. That is that is pretty cool. The infinity light that I've been showing you, um, this is what it looks like if you guys have been around. So... This is what it looks like from the picture that they took. And this is what it looks like in real life. Pretty cool. I, I actually have a video of it too. And I know this is not doing justice to so many lights, but took a video of it. That's what it would look like in complete darkness. And I can verify that that's what it looks like. So wanted to let y'all know this is super duper cool. Um, infinity. Let me see if you guys can actually see the infinity effect. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. You can go to the Green Grid Iron website. They do have them in stock, and you can order them. You can use promo code DET. Got to turn that back on. It feels weird without a D-E-T-S-Y-N to receive some additional percentage off as well. They Let me see if they still have the Black Friday thing before I say something. They had a Black Friday sale going on for a long time. I would assume because it's not officially Black Friday yet. Yep, it's still still going on. You can get up to 50% off um, between $50 and $1,300. And then you can also stack that discount with my promo code D-E-T-S-Y-N to receive extra money off of your order. So I would get everything you can wise in stock, you know, obviously before um, these things are all gone. So anyway, this channel was made possible by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You could be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. And please make your subscriptions public. I showed you how to do it or told you how to do it. I really want to be able to give these giveaways away, but I need you guys to follow instructions because I can't verify that you're a public subscriber. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. I got to get you use this hand because the other one still has the Lions.